journaling with your voice. That's what we're talking about today. Hi, this is Frank Buck, and this is the place to be if you want to get organized and make it look easy. I want to show you something. Okay, Google, text Frank Buck. Text Dr. Frank Buck, mobile. Is that right? Yes. What's the message? I am demonstrating how I can send a text message to myself and have that message wind up in Evernote. Hi, God. I am demonstrating how I can send a text message wind up in Evernote. Ready to send it? Yes. Sending your message. Today, I'm going to show you what I did, why you would want it, and how to set it up. Now I go to Evernote and I see that information appended to the bottom of a certain note and its date and time stamped. Now let's talk about why this is significant. The organized person of yesteryear carried a pocket memo pad, and I still do for the times that I need to jot something down on paper rather than enter digitally with my voice. The idea is as soon as you jot it down, you're in the right to forget about it. Later in the day, you look at what you wrote on the memo pad and transfer that information to the appropriate place. I did a fairly detailed video on setting up this system in this video that you see right here. But the problem is the if this then that applet that allowed the voice entry you see in that video, that, that capability goes away at the end of August 2022. And to me, voice input is important for trapping those little bits of information on the fly. In this video, I showed you a workaround. What I showed you there is still the best way, I think, to trap your task in Remember the Milk once these other applets that I had created for Remember the Milk go away at the end of the month. Now, I've been experimenting with something else to get those random bits of information into Evernote. Now, what do I mean by random bits of information? Well, you run into a friend on the street that you haven't seen in a long time, and you just want to make a quick note about that interaction in Evernote. Or there's a major news story, and you want to note a quick summary of the event and today's date. All I do is send a text message to myself. That message is added to a note in Evernote called Frank's Journal. It's a log of the activities for the month. At the end of the month, I create a new note in Evernote, label it with the month and year, and cut and paste the contents of Frank's journal there. Then I'm ready to start again for the next month in Frank's journal. What I'm doing is made possible by If This Then That. I want to show you how you can create an applet that will do the same thing. Go into If This Then That and create a new applet. For the trigger, I chose SMS. Now, If This Then That will ask you for some information if this is the first time that you've used a trigger involving SMS. Okay, next you'll choose New SMS Sent to Phone Number. This trigger fires every time you send an SMS on your device to a phone number you specify. Now, the phone number you specify is going to be your own phone number. That's for the sake of convenience. If you were sending this stuff to someone else, they'd think you're crazy. So after you enter the phone number, click Create Trigger. Now, for the target, I choose Evernote. Again, if this is the first time you're using Evernote with If This Then That, you'll be asked for information and permissions. Now we're going to choose Append to Note. Here is how the information looks for my applet. You can call your note whatever you like and store it in whatever notebook you like. The text of the message you send will be appended to the bottom of that note and it will be date and time stamped. Now, as I was experimenting with this applet, the performance was inconsistent, and I was puzzled as to why sometimes the applet worked immediately, and sometimes it returned the result the next day, if at all. So I reached out to If This Then That and received a response. I tried what they suggested, and the result has worked 100% of the time since then. So I'm including the instructions they sent to me in the blog post which accompanies this video. 
That's all there is to it. Now you can use voice input to add those little bits of information. And if you're somewhere where speaking the text would be awkward, you can certainly key in that text message, just like sending any other text message. The idea is, though, you're going to be sending that text message to yourself. If you liked this video, how about giving it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel? And I bet you'll enjoy these two videos right over here. Take a look at them. Thanks for stopping by. This has been Frank Buck, helping you get organized and make it look easy.